my name is Sergei Aganisian. I am a community manager for Frogwares. Sergey, what are you showing here at E3 2019? So this is our game, which is almost done. It's the Sinking City, a supernatural detective adventure set in a bleak and dark Lovecraftian universe. It is a detective thriller, 1920s United States, cool game. So this game has had a long, passionate history. Talk a little about the history of the development of this game. Sure, it started like uh, three years ago, I would say. It first started as a prototype for Sherlock Holmes, one of our Sherlock Holmes games, because we've done them before. <laughs> uh, but then we understand that, and we see that there is a lot of stuff that we cannot do with Sherlock. Like, combat, for example, flooded city, insanity, all this kind of stuff. And we decided to switch focus a little bit. We decided to go with Lovecraft because Lovecraft and his novels, they fit perfectly into this detective type of games that we do. Lovecraft is all about like searching for the truth and stuff like that, so perfect fit. Uh, recently, we postponed the game because like, it, it was three hours, but uh, three years, but most of the time we spent to develop the tools that we did for the, uh, the, the, to build the city, stuff like that. So right now it's almost ready. Yeah, June 27. So talk about, the, the, the star in this game is the city you've created. Talk about how it has its own story to tell just by wandering around it and how, the inter and how you interact with it as the character. Okay, so first of all, the city itself is the character. Uh, we actually, we, if you look at the map, you will see, yeah, you, you, can, you can see how the city was grown and developed. You can see it by different types of architecture that was um, common in certain periods of times. So there is a lot of lore in this uh, in this part of in, in this part of game. There is like the whole history of the city, the whole history of people who live this uh, in this city. Because these people were kind of strange even before the flood. Um, there is a lot of like discrimination going on in the city. People don't like newcomers. People don't like uh, others who snoop around snoop around. You know. So there's a lot of stuff going on. So talk about, about the gameplay itself. You're not afraid to not hold the gamer's hand at all. They have to figure out stuff for their own and make sure they're reading. Yes. <laughs> uh, reading. Yeah, I, I know I know it's going to be difficult for some people, but, but um, yeah, the whole idea is that you find clues and you kind of follow the trail to your, to your target. Like, it can be a criminal, it can be something supernatural. Most of the time it will be some, something supernatural. But the whole idea is that you find clues, you analyze them, you, like, put them together in your mind palace. You uncover these secrets, you make certain choices, and based on these choices, then you decide what to do with your suspects, or you, you, you decide how to progress, so we have moral choices as well. What was interesting about your gameplay demo you showed, it was that the main protagonist like, has to go to a house, they don't give you, you don't get a track marker to the house, you have to know, you have to go to the street, and then you have to listen for the protagonist to be like, this is the house, and then he goes in. So, we do have a certain system that will help you find these uh, enterable objects, for example. We have designed a whole system of marks, of like signs that will help you. We have different types of signs, and sometimes they will mark a treasure, sometimes they will mark a, a door, a point of interest. And the thing is that it's tightly connected to the lore. So, people in the city, they created these kind of mar uh, symbols to know where they should go and where they shouldn't go. And that's how we navigate in the city. Can you talk about some of the enemies we will be fighting in this game? Uh, we have different kinds of enemies, mostly monsters, but we also have human enemies. Uh, with monsters, they have different abilities, so they can like synergize with each other. They can work with each other to make life more more difficult. And with some of them, you need to know where like where to shoot to, to, to kill them. And it's also very difficult because you have a sanity meter, you have resources to manage because we don't give you a lot of ammunition. And sometimes it will be better to just flee and uh, you know forget about this uh, this thing and maybe return m later when you have more more ammunition yeah most in your, your com most your combat gameplay you don't have weapons that fire very quickly or reload very quickly so it's kind of like a fight or flight thing uh it's kind of like that i mean we don't think that uh these very our powered really fast weapons go uh, nice with the, with the with horror games but although we do have a tommy gun uh which is like which it, it's fast but we don't give you a lot of a lot of bullets so every make sure every bullet counts so Talk about a little bit about the delay. What, what, why did you guys delay the game? The um, development was going as, as planned, but then we looked at the timeline, at the, at the, at the schedule of other games, and we decided, you know what, uh, in March there was a lot of big games from big studios, and we didn't want to get lost in that. And uh, we decided to push the game a little bit back to uh, find a better spot to, to release. We also obviously used this um, to fix some bugs, to add some new, new, new stuff, but yeah, but it's for marketing and uh, bug fixing purposes. So obviously, Lovecraft is a huge inspiration of this game. Did you guys look to any other uh, film, movies, novels? Uh, from Stephen King to The Last of Us to Carpenter's movies, like The Thing, for example, and stuff like that. 
uh, a lot of novels, a lot of uh, Lovecraft novels, a lot of like uh, Edgar Allan Poe novels because uh, Lovecraft himself, uh, he took uh, uh, inspiration from Edgar Allan Poe and uh, all of followers of Lovecraft. Some of these parts are actually created not by Lovecraft, but by, but by his followers. And when does the game come out and what platforms will be on? So it, it's coming out on June 27th for PC, uh, Epic Games Store, Xbox One and PS4. And we just announced the version for the, for the Switch, which is, will be coming later this year.